This video will cover how to download, complete, upload, and then make corrections in a SAM project. Okay, I'm going to go into Blackboard or into Canvas, excuse me, and I'm going to select Word Module 1 SAM Project 1. Okay, I'm going to click on Load Word Module 1 SAM Project 1 in a new window. Now that the project has opened up, I'm going to click on Start. Okay, I'm going to download these three files. The first file is an instruction file on how to complete the project. The second file is a Word Starter file. And the third file is a picture that you're going to use when you're creating the project. Okay, so I'm going to download the instructions and I'm going to make sure and save it. You don't want to open this. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the starter file and with the picture file. Okay, now there's something else on the screen I want you to notice here. This area is where you're going to come back to when you upload the file into the system. Okay, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go to my downloads folder because that's where my files are. And the first instruction in the instructions uh, is to change this one to a two. The instruction also tells you that if you don't see .docx, don't worry about it. Don't try to add it. Okay, I'm going to right click on that file name and I'm going to select rename. I come back up here, put my insertion point right between the one and the period and I'm going to backspace one time and then I'm going to type a two and then I'm going to click outside of it. Now that's the same thing as opening the file and saving it with a new name but the advantage is you only have one file here. You don't have two. If you open it and then save it with the new name, you'll have two files that have almost the same name. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to skip ahead because I've already uh, created this file and I've intentionally put an error in it so that we'll have something to correct. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to the MindTap page for Word Project 1. I'm going to browse for my file. Okay, I've placed it on the desktop. And there it is. So I'm going to select it, click Open. Now I'm going to click Submit. Okay, when it submits properly, I'll get this one note here that it's submitted plus you'll get three green check marks. Okay, this thing grades almost instantly. So now if I close this window, this is going to take me to what you call the calendar view in MindTap. Now I've put deep links in our course where when you click on any of the links to MindTap content, it takes you directly to that item. But if you were to use the overall MindTap content link that's up in the MindTap content area of our module, it would take you to this view. Now this is always one week behind where our actual content is. And that the reason why is I always make these due on Monday. So if you wanted to see the actual place in here, there we've got Word Project, Word Module 1, SAM Project 1. If I click on that, it would take me right back to the page where we just submitted this at. Okay, I'm going to go over here and click Open Full Gradebook so I can see how I did on this project. 
now you'll notice there's an awful lot more stuff in the in this than what I assign in the course the only thing you have to worry about in here is the SAM projects so I'm gonna go to Word chapter one we're gonna try and ignore that data fetch error on the screen and see if uh, we can get to this without having to do anything to deal with that so I'm gonna click on the grade right here where it says 99 percent okay now this allows me to view what's wrong with my attempt so I'm gonna click on view and then I've got something here that says generate report I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna to offer to let me save this file or just open it up now if you're using Chrome whenever you do something that could result in a downloaded file Chrome will automatically download it I'm using Firefox and that's why I'm getting these uh, questions here about whether I want to open the file or save it okay so I'm gonna click on OK for save file I'm gonna go to my downloads folder I'm gonna open up that file and this is it right here the report I'm gonna enable editing that enable editing happens because we're going to be opening a file that came from the internet and then I'm gonna scroll down and see what the problem is okay the problem is that there was the paragraph that had the word auditions should have been formatted using a 12 point spacing before the paragraph okay I'm gonna close this I'm gonna go back to my file which is on the desktop I'm gonna open it I'm gonna go down to the word the paragraph that's got the word auditions I'm gonna put my cursor in there so I'm in that paragraph I'm gonna click on the layout tab and I'm gonna change the spacing before it to 12 points I'm gonna save my file okay I'm gonna close it it's always best to close a file before you submit it I'm gonna close it I'm gonna go back to mine tap I'm gonna close the report window I'm gonna close the view window and then I'm gonna scroll down and let's see if I can get back to the project from here no I can't so I'm going to collapse this full grade book using the double arrows here now I'm gonna go back to the project from here says that I've got two attempts remaining you have a total of three I'm gonna click start I'll have to click start again and now I'm gonna submit the file again so I have to browse for it it's on the desktop I select it I click open and then I submit it okay it's submitted I'm gonna close this window I'm gonna open the full gradebook again I'm gonna scroll down to the project and I see now that my score is 100 so hopefully uh, this video has helped and uh, good luck